how you get a scarf on? Do you just like throw it over your head like that? So what do you do? <laughs> Welcome back to Toe Talks. As you know, season one was filmed while we were in Tucson, Arizona together. And now during season two, we are here in St. Louis, Missouri, where it is cold and I'm not so used to the cold weather. So Tisha, can you give me a couple hints on what I need to do to like bundle up and stay warm and keep my precious toes warm? <laughs> it is extremely cold. Keeping my feet warm is really important for me, but also being able to use my feet at the same time. I have a couple of options here to keep warm and stay out of the cold. And the first thing that I really like are these leg warmers. So they just basically slip on onto your feet and go up to your legs. And then my pant leg just goes over it and it keeps my legs nice and cozy. Here, this is my favorite thing. These are socks. Jared actually bought these for me for Christmas and he just thought that I would be able to use them and I love them so much that I ended up with two pair. So what they do, they're for dancers. They're kind of like gloves with the fingers cut out, but they're for your feet and they are perfect for allowing me to keep my feet warm and I can still use my toes for riding and stuff. Very critical. But on the, as you can see on the bottom here, there's a rubber pad on the, on the bottom. So it keeps me from skidding across the, the floor. The grippers are critical. I am not kidding. About two months ago, I fell because my socks made me slip. And I thought that you would like them too, that I got you your own pair. Oh, thank you. And they're called Toe Socks with an X. Oh, plie socks. Awesome. Thank you. you That's cool. Welcome. Yeah, so I these won't are... slip again. I like to wear beanies in the wintertime to keep my ears warm. But if I've got my hair all nice and um, done up, I will wear ear warmers. And this is kind of like a headband that just goes up and over my head. And it'll keep my ears nice and warm that way. And my favorite piece, besides the socks, is this infinity scarf. It is so soft. Here, give feel it a feel. It. Oh, wow. It's knitted on the outside. That is so soft, yeah. And it's got a, like a cottony wool on the inside. And this just flips over my head, keeps my whole, my whole neck warm. Keeps your neck nice and warm. So it's really thick. And it your keeps face nice warm. and warm. Ooh, oh. yep. Oh, I can hide in it. <laughs> That's cute. I like it because in Tucson, you don't really need something warm and cozy. And I bought a couple items. You know what? I've had trouble putting on beanies by myself. So I thought about this hat. It has a brim. And since I can put ball caps on myself, I figured this would be a solution. And I got you one. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah. I got some toe socks for my sister when she was living in South Korea. These toe socks, most important part, grip between the big toe and second toe. Great. So they're not necessarily uh, free for the other toes, but uh, those are the most important toes when we're using our feet. And a pair of toe socks that covers up all the toes. Those are the that. standard toe socks that you would see around here to cover up the, f the whole foot and the toes. Yeah. yeah those so are really popular. Th these are great. So, But this scarf, I had a question for you about how you get a scarf on. Do you just like throw it over your head like that? Or what do you do? <laughs> Well, I have, I have troubles getting things up and over my head anyway, so I use my, I've accommodated by using my other leg. I saw your knee is very, oh, okay. And then, there we go. And then I pull it as far as I can. Woo, do a double wrap, nice. We had a question from, from one of our viewers. She saw the episode last season of us getting dressed on our own and she thought it was pretty neat how we use our dressing tools. Okay. But she's had a question, but how do you handle buttons? I found a jacket that has Velcro instead of buttons. This Velcro's together and it zips together, but say I need to get this on nice and quickly, I'll just Velcro it together. Typically, probably the second Velcro, so I have room to to put my head through it oh yeah. and I, I velcro it together and that's just another option because sometimes velcro is not the most fashionable thing to do 
Mm -hmm. So I actually, we can should you, show them the buttons. Can you, can you use a zipper? Yes, I can use a zipper. Okay. I good. zip the clothing first, or if I have something that I need a button, I will button first. So to answer that viewer's question about buttons, that's how I handle buttons. What about you, Tisha? I will either button it first and then slip it over my head, or I will unbutton it, and I use a combination of my feet and my mouth to at least button maybe one or two of the buttons. And this is one of my favorite jackets. It's a pea coat, purple, my favorite color. That, that's how I button my button. Okay. I usually just do one, and then when I'm ready to unbutton it, I can boop. Just like that. Just like that. It's really important for me to have bigger buttons. I don't like the smaller ones. The bigger ones are easier for me to grab on with my toes, and they come out, they come loose easier. Okay. Cool. Well, that's the same. You were showing me how you put your jacket on, and I do the same thing. Swing that over, one side, stand up, and <laughs> just like that. Okay. Now that you have your jacket on and we've got all this gear, I have a surprise for you. What's that? I'm going to take you ice skating. Yes. In St. Louis, that. right by the arch. Wow, that would be amazing because I haven't even seen the arch yet. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Have Let's you ice skated before, though? I have never ice skated before. Oh, okay. So this will be interesting to find out whether or not you can do it while we're all bundled up. And we'll see if your puffy pants affects your ice skating abilities. Well, I think they'll keep me better cushioned when I fall. Good point. So let's get packed up and let's head to the skating rink. Let's do it. Thank you for watching this episode and I hope you can enjoy our ice skating. Whoa! <laughs> I forgot how to skate! <laughs>